In this video, I will be deploying Microsoft Office 365 using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page. And that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup, other policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy, and also a few videos about Wix toolset. And the reason for that is that I will be using Wix to create a MSI package for Microsoft Office deployment using group policy. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will be creating Microsoft Office 365 MSI installation file. And after that, I will be performing machine deployment and also user installation using group policy. And one important note here is that the MSI file that I will be creating will perform online installation. That means that all the installation files will be downloaded from Microsoft. And in the future, I will be creating another video that will cover installation from a network share. And now I'll begin this video by downloading all the necessary files that I need for the MSI installation package. And I will start by downloading Office Deployment Tool. And for that, I will be using the link that I have here that brings me to the Office Deployment Tool download page. And here I will just click on this download button. And then I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have a few more files that I need. And the next file that I will be downloading is Office Installation Configuration file. And I have it here in my GitHub page. It's called m365-config. And if I click on it, here we can see the configuration. If the configuration doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you want. But the important items are display level set to none and also accepting EULA. And to download this file, I will click on the button right here, and then I will go back to the GitHub page because the next file that I need is a Wix configuration file. And here in my GitHub page, I have two Wix configuration files. One of them is called m365-template, and the other one is called m365-wix. And the Wix one is a configuration file that already has all the values filled in. So you can use this file as an example, but for this video, I will be using the one that is called template. So I'll click on it and then I will click on the download button. Then I will go to my downloads folder. And now I need to get a setup.exe file from this office deployment tool installation file. And there are a few methods how you can do it. One of them is just to install this executable and get the setup.exe file from the installation destination folder. Or like I will be doing in this video, I will just be using 7-zip to extract this executable here in the downloads folder, go inside of this folder, and then I will just copy the setup.exe from here, and I will place it in my downloads folder. And then because I don't need this executable and the folder, I will just select both of them and remove them from the downloads folder, because I will be using the my downloads folder as a staging area for all the files that I need for the package. And now I will be modifying the Wix configuration file. First, I will rename it. I will right click on it, select rename, and I will name the file m365-installer. Then I will right click on the file and I will open it using Visual Studio Code. As you can see, it's basically an XML file. Basically, it's instructions for Wix on how to package our files into a single MSI package. And the only thing that we need to do in here is to provide the values for the variables that you see here. So first we need to give a name for our package. I will name it Microsoft M365 installer. Then for exe, we need to provide our setup.exe file name. In this case, it's just setup.exe. For config, we need to provide the office installation configuration file name. For that, I will go back to the GitHub page. I will right click on the office installation configuration file, select rename, then I will select full name to include the extension because the extension is important. Then I will copy the name and insert it here. For the path, we need to provide the location where we have our files, where we have setup.exe and also the office configuration file. And in my case, it's in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I will type D and then downloads. Then the version number is not that important because this is the version number for the installer and it has nothing to do with the office itself. So I will just give it a value of 1.0.0. .0. Also publisher is not important, but it's a mandatory field. So I'll enter let's do automation. 
And then we need to provide a unique identifier for the MSI file. And for that, once again, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have in this PowerShell command that we can use to generate a GUID. So I will copy on the bu button right here to copy this command. I will open then my terminal application and I will insert the snippet in here, press enter. And as you can see, every time I'm using it, I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I will copy one of the values, then go back to the configuration file and I will place the value in here. And that's it. Now I can create my MSI installation file. And for that, I will go back to my terminal application. And here we need to change the location to the location where we have all of the files that we need for the package. In my case, like I said before, it's my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my ID drive. So I'll type CD, then D and then downloads folder. And if I type there here in the console, I can see all the files that I need for the package. And now to create the package, we need to type Wix build and then provide the Wix configuration file name. So it's m365-installer, then let's press enter and wait a bit. And it seems that Wix finished creating the package. If I go back to my downloads folder, here we can see that now we have this MSI installation file. And now I can start creating my group policy. And for that, I will right click on the file, select copy, and then I will go to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. For now, I will minimize the server manager. And now we need to place the file in the network location that is accessible to our users and computers. So for that, I will open File Explorer and go to my SRV02. This is my file server. Here I have the software share and here I will create another folder. I will name it M365. I will go inside of it and then I will place the MSI file in here. And one important note in here is that you need to have the correct share and NTFS permissions. In this case, if I go to properties and then security tab, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions. And I have the same permissions for my share permissions and authenticated users covers both users and computers. That means that all of my users and also all of my computers are able to access this share and read files that are inside of it. Anyways, that's basically it in here. We can close this window. And now let's go to the group policy management console. So for that, I will go back to the server manager, then tools and group policy management. And here I will be creating two group policies. The first policy will be for domain computers. It will install Microsoft Office during computer startup. And the second policy will be for domain users. And this will allow domain users to install Microsoft Office whenever they like. And now to create the first policy, I will right click on group policy objects, select new. And I will name the policy assign Microsoft Office 365. And then I will click OK. Then I will select the policy that I created. I will right click on it and select edit. And here we need to go to computer configuration, policies, software settings, software installation. Then I right click in here, go to new and select package. And here we need to select the package that we have here in the network share. So once again, we need to go to the file server. So it's SRV02 for me. Software folder and select M365 and select the MSI file that we have in here. Here we need to select assigned and click OK. And that's basically it. We are done with this policy editor. We can close it. And then let's go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it and I will leave all other settings on default and after creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the MSI package in my case it's the organization unit that I have here it's called computers and it is holding all the computers in my domain so to assign the policy i will just click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit click ok here and as you can see the policy appeared in the list here and also in here and that's it now to test this policy i will go to one of my client machines that i have here 
and because I just created the policy and didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines, I will open a CMD window and I will update the policy manually. Here I will just type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, the group policy update was successful. Here we get this message saying that it detected a software installation package. And for the installation to happen, we need to reboot the computer. So for that, I will just type shut down minus R minus T zero, press enter. And now let's see what's going to happen. And as you can see, the computer started the Microsoft Office installation. And now we need for the installation to finish. And the installation seems to be over. Now I will sign in back to the Jones account. And now if I go to the start menu, here we should find the office applications. Yeah, as you can see, we have Word installed. If I open it, it seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for installing to the computers using group policy. Now I will show you another option where we will allow our users to install Microsoft Office whenever they like. And to do that, I will go back to my Windows Server. First, I will unlink the policy that I created. So I'll just disable the link in here and I will create another policy. So I'll right click on Group Policy Objects, I'll select New. And this time I will name the policy Publish Dash Microsoft Office. 365. I will click OK. Then once again, I will click on the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. This time we need to go to User Configuration, Policies, Software Settings, and Software Installation. Right click in here, go to New, select Package. Once again, we need to select the MSI file that we have in the Network Share. And this time we need to make sure that it's selected at Published. Then I will click OK and that's it. We can close this window. And this time for GPO status, I will select computer configuration settings disabled because this time this policy has only user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on defaults. And this time we need to assign the policy to an organization unit that is holding our users. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called users and it is holding all the users in my domain. And currently it has no policy assigned to it. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy that I just created and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And to test this policy, I will go to my other client machine that I have here. Here I have this desktop shortcut that allows me to install the software from the network. If I click on it, as you can see, currently the list is empty. And that's because even though we created the policy, we didn't give it enough time to update on the computers. So we need to do it manually. And for that, once again, I will go to start menu, search for CMD. And then in here, I will just type GP update, press enter. And once again, we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go back in here, right click and refresh, here we can see the Microsoft Office inst installation file. Now if I double click on it, the installation starts and once again we need to wait a bit more. And the installation seems to be over. If I go to my start menu now, all apps, here in the bottom we should find the board. Yeah, it's here and it seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.